think it's the logic behind um, their survival strategies which is fascinating and definitely applicable for future generations because it's a logic um, concerned with conserving resources. Um, you can actually um, make a great deal out of just about nothing. They're incredibly shy because it's their natural lifestyle to live in a place like this. They can live outdoors year-round and find everything they need in the landscape. There they are. It's a sheep and one of this year's lambs. There aren't very many of this type of sheep left because modern um, Farmers have trouble getting authorities to understand that animals can live like this. They've been on, in coastal heathland areas of Europe for the past 4,000 years and they were of course brought by the Vikings to the North Atlantic islands and people think of the Vikings as being brutal and um, you know just interested in pillaging and raping and all the rest of that but I think in my own personal theory is that they were looking for good pasture to keep a lot of sheep because um, in order to produce the amount of sailcloth, um, which is another thing that they were dependent upon, woolen sailcloth, then they needed thousands of sheep. So it's obvious that um, they were dependent on enough pasture to keep enough uh, sheep extensively grazing in places like this. Yeah. It's not guesswork, we know that they did have woolen sails. There are definitely literary references in the sagas. One of the big mysteries is where did they get enough fibre to supply their fleets of or ships um, with an adequate uh, amount of sail cloth. We were looking at a lot of different things, among others, um, what the effect of having a surface that wasn't completely smooth was on the aerodynamics of the sail. When you think about how um, labour intensive it is to actually produce a woodland sail, and you think, well, that, you know, that must have been an amazing job. How did you organize it, um, the logistics of actually producing the amounts of sailcloth that were necessary? You look at what boat builders making traditional boats today, which are exactly like what the Vikings had, how much time they used to make a boat, that'll take two men two weeks to make. A sail would take two women about a year to make. Um, so it's actually more time consuming to produce the textiles than, than to produce the boat. We have this image of Vikings of being a male-dominated uh, culture, but really women were probably bearing the brunt of maintaining their culture because if you look at what's involved in making a, a sail, you get a different view of who was actually doing an awful lot of the work in that society. One of the major challenges, which you wouldn't expect, was um, having craftspeople with the uh, hands-on knowledge to be able to process the wool. 
One of the major ways to acquire that type of knowledge is long-term uh, employment doing just that, uh, being a craftsperson.